everyone welcome back to my channel and Merry Christmas this year for Christmas I thought I would share with you guys all of my favorite Christmas movies which is also why I'm down here with all the movies because this is a movie related video so in the basement with all the movie shelves for the longest time like the only Christmas movie I really liked was like the Grinch and it's actually just in the last little while that I've actually like discovered a lot more Christmas movies that are just really really good so I wanted to share some of my favorites with you guys obviously we're gonna start out with like my tried and true this is probably still my favorite Christmas movie to this day and that is both the animated and the live-action how the Grinch stole Christmas so I'm talking about the animated short not the new Benedict Cumberbatch one I have seen that one and I'm not a fan <laughs> We're talking about the short that is based on the book, and I'm also talking about the Jim Carrey one. I know a lot of people don't really like the Jim Carrey one, but I absolutely love it. It is probably one of my favorite Christmas movies. I watch it every single year. I love the short itself, but I also love the book. It's one of my favorite Dr. Seuss books. I bought the book for my nephew for his very first Christmas, and it's just one of my favorite Christmas stories of all time. I absolutely love The Grinch. I love Dr. Seuss. I love the live action Grinch. I love the short. I watch them both every year, multiple times throughout the Christmas season. And yeah, it's just one of my favorites. Every year without fail, I watch The Grinch while I wrap Christmas presents no matter what. It's just one of my favorites. Next one is one that I think pretty much everyone loves and it's one of almost everyone's favorite Christmas films and that is Home Alone such a hilarious movie it's you can't not love it I personally don't love slapstick humor people getting hurt has never been appealing to me in like a comedic way however I don't know what it is about Home Alone but I love it it's so funny every single time I watch it I am laughing hysterically but I haven't seen literally any of the other Home Alones even Home Alone 2 which is really sad to say. I think I've seen the end of Home Alone 2 but that's about it so I do need to get on that. I do need to watch it but it's definitely just those first two that I've heard you need to watch and the rest are just throwaway movies. You don't need to watch them. The first one is so good. Every single time I watch it I always get emotional and always get teary-eyed at the very end when the mom finally gets there at Christmas. Just love it so much. Next I have my two favorite versions of The Christmas Carol. We have The Muppets Christmas Carol as well as Mickey's Christmas Carol. I know Mickey's Christmas Carol is on the shorter side of things but it's definitely my favorite. I'm not a huge fan of like I think I don't know if it's the newest version but the Jim Carrey version. But I love the Muppets version because you can't go wrong with Michael Caine and the Muppets obviously and I really love the Mickey Mouse version I think it's really cute and I love Scrooge McDuck so love that I feel like the Mickey version is definitely like not as dark as some of the other versions get I mean if I had to pick my all-time favorite version of the Christmas Carol it would be like the stage play of the Christmas Carol many years ago like probably like over 15 years ago I saw the Christmas Carol and that was my favorite version I've ever seen um, I don't remember the exact year it was but that version I saw was my favorite version but obviously I can't have that on film so if I had to pick my favorite versions of the Christmas Carol that I can have on film it is Muppets and the Mickey Mouse version speaking of Mickey Mouse I do have a couple of like Mickey Mouse Christmas videos that I love. The first one is Mickey's Once Upon a Christmas. I do have both Mickey's Once and Mickey's Twice Upon a Christmas and Mickey's Once Upon a Christmas is definitely my favorite out of the two. Each one has three different short stories that are told in them and I just love those stories that are told in Once Upon a Christmas opposed to Twice Upon a Christmas. Don't get me wrong Twice Upon a Christmas is still really good but if I had to choose I would choose Once Upon a Christmas. One of the stories is Huey, Dewey, and Louie wish that it was Christmas every single day. Another story is Mickey and Minnie want to exchange gifts, but neither of them can afford something. Mickey wants something for, I don't know, his car. And Minnie wants, she wants a dress to go with these beautiful shoes she has. And so she ends up selling the shoes to get something for Mickey's car. And Mickey sells his car to get, to get Minnie the dress. Something like that. You understand where I'm going with this. Then the third story is basically Max as a young boy 
wanting, you know, like the biggest and the best gifts for Christmas, and he's disappointed when he doesn't get like the cool things, especially because he lives next door to Pete and PJ gets all the really cool things, uh, but then Goofy takes him to a needy family to celebrate Christmas with them, and Max just kind of sees like how these people who have very little are very happy just to get anything at all at Christmas time, so it just kind of makes him rethink how he treated Christmas and how he treated getting things that he thought weren't good enough. The other Mickey Mouse story that I love, it's on Disney Plus and I think it's just a short, but it's called Duck the Halls. It is the new style of Mickey Mouse animation and it is hilarious. It's so funny. Basically the story of it is it's Christmas time and Minnie, Mickey, and Goofy are getting the house ready for Christmas, but then Daisy tells Donald they have to go, they have to migrate for the winter season, and Donald is determined to stay, and even though it almost kills him because ducks can't stay where it's cold, they need to go where it's warm, he still tries to stay because he wants to stay for Christmas, and you know, moral of the story, you can have Christmas anywhere. It doesn't just have to be where it's cold, you can go somewhere warm to have Christmas. Obviously there are some more classics out there, like the Santa Claus, and I love Jack Frost, not the scary version. I, I know there's like a Jack Frost movie where Jack Frost, the snowman, is actually like terrifying, but not that one. <laughs> the heartfelt one with Michael Keaton, that, that's the one I'm referring to. When I speak of the Santa Claus, I specifically just mean the first one. The second one's not bad, and the third one is just like, you watch it because you watch them all, but it's not one that you'd ever put on. But the Santa Claus itself, love the Santa Claus. And also, obviously, Beauty and the Beast Enchanted Christmas. And then the last movie that I'm going to talk about that has very much become one of my favorite Christmas movies of all time. We watched this last year. It's on Netflix. It's a Netflix original movie. It is called Klaus. It is so good. I love this movie with all my heart. It has definitely become one of my favorite Christmas movies, like up there with The Grinch. I absolutely loved this movie so much. Basically the idea of Klaus is about a postman named Jesper who is assigned to this basically North Pole place and he has to have like 6,000 letters come in or else his very rich father is going to cut him off. And this town, like, they don't send letters. Instead, they're just mean to each other. Like, there's two clans that live in this area, and they just do not like each other, and they do everything in their power to make the other clan miserable. And then Jesper goes up into the woods, and he finds this old woodsman named Klaus. And him and this woodsman start delivering toys to the children, and Jesper kind of sees this as a way for him to get the letters, because he gets the children to write letters to Klaus to bring him them toys. So it's a win-win situation because Jesper is getting his letters through, but also the children are getting toys. And it is just so so good. I remember when we were picking a movie to watch and I don't know who recommended it. It was either Sam or my brother Jamie because he was living here at that time that recommended it and I remember at the time I didn't say no but I wasn't like super enthused to watch this movie and I just love this movie. It is so good. I am so glad that I was like okay fine yes let's watch this because I have recommended it to almost everyone. I was like, do you need a good Christmas movie to watch? You need a good Christmas movie? You, do you need a good Christmas movie? And people are like, Jody, it's August. I'm like, do you need a good Christmas movie though? It is so good. I cannot recommend it enough. The animation is really well done. It's actually done in 2D and hand drawn, but then the lighting that they use is CGI, so it makes it look 3D, but the actual like characters and animation is all 2D and all hand-drawn which is really cool and like you don't see hand-drawn movies very much anymore. Sam and I actually just re-watched it yesterday while we were wrapping Christmas presents and oh it holds up to all the standards I had like talked about throughout this entire year like remembering how much I loved this movie and then actually sitting down and re-watching it again, it holds up. It's so good. So if you're looking for a good movie to watch, I highly recommend Klaus. I know the live-action Grinch is on 
Netflix. The Home Alone and all the other Disney movies that I mentioned are also on Disney Plus, so those are there if you need them. Those are all my favorite Christmas movies. If you're looking for some Christmas movies to watch, I know that this video is up on December 24th, so obviously the Christmas season is coming to a close, but you know what, if it's like Christmas Eve and you want to just put on a movie, here's a great list of movies that I recommend. My top three are definitely, like I said, the short of How the Grinch Stole Christmas, the live action How the Grinch Stole Christmas, and then Klaus. Those are my three favorite Christmas movies of all time. All of them are really good if you're looking for something fun. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, I would love it if you would like and subscribe. I post new videos every single Friday and I'd love to have you here. Thank you so much for watching. I will talk to you later. Happy holidays, Merry Christmas, and a Happy New Year to everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Bye everybody.